Hi, food family. I'm back, Chef Love Chunks. Again, we're on Thanksgiving leftovers. So, here's a ginormous amount of leftover turkey stuffing, okay? I saw a really cool thing the other day on TV, and I thought the guy's idea was phenomenal. So, we're going to test it out, all right? So, we are going to take a little bit of our leftover stuffing. Place it in a bowl. Now we add one egg. Let's try two tablespoons of flour and one teaspoon baking soda. All right, now we're gonna mix it around. Try not to be as messy as I am, but things happen. What can you do? Now I have my waffle iron getting hot. I sprayed it once already with some nonstick cooking spray. Not sure what temperature really the waffle iron should be on. So I'm taking it probably about three quarters of the way to high. So medium high. Now I haven't tried this recipe before, but I thought it was very creative. So let's see what happens. All right, I'm gonna give it one more little spray. Just take a little bit of your dressing. Pop it onto the waffle maker. Now this is really going to become like a bread or a wrap for a sandwich. Okay, down with the waffle maker lid. And he said about two minutes. Wash your hands. And we're gonna see what happens here in a minute or two. It might be a little sticky so we're going to see if we have to adjust. But in this recipe, once the waffle, stuffing waffle comes out, then um, you could add some leftover sliced turkey. You could do uh, bacon, avocado. You could just butter it and put some pure maple syrup on it, fold it up like a taco and be out the door with it. Uh, cubed chicken, leftover ham, anything like that, I would think would be delicious. All right, let's see. Oh, it smells fabulous. Don't think it's quite done. Let's give it another few seconds. And I did turn the heat up all the way to high. I am pushing on the lid, just a little pressure. I have a 
little bit of butter here, and I have some pure maple syrup. Okay, that looks beautiful. And let's go a couple, maybe 30 more seconds. It does smell delicious, I have to say. Steaming like crazy. I think I'm getting a facial while I'm making stuffing waffles. Lord knows I need a facial. Okay, here we go. A little bit hard to get out, but I think you can wrangle it through. Let's put a little butter on there. Okay. And a little touch of maple syrup. I mean, maple syrup's like pure heaven. So let's take a little bite. It is very hot. Mm. Okay. It's delicious. I can definitely see some avocado, some bacon on there. So the stuffing was still a little wet. So I'm gonna add just a little more flour, maybe another tablespoon. Mix it together well. That seems better. Okay. So, I sprayed my waffle pan again. Okay, there we are. Down it goes. All right, well that's cooking. I'm gonna wash up. Just applying a little bit of pressure to the waffle iron. I think if you had also some leftover roast chicken, anything like that, would also be delicious. Uh, we might even go ahead be very adventurous today and we're going to add a little bit of peanut butter to the one of the sections so here we go i mean why not i love peanut butter And so did Elvis. 
Okay. Smells delicious. Still steaming. I would say it might need closer to maybe two and a half minutes to three possibly. Let's give a look see. Looking beautiful. Let's go another 30 seconds. There's no exact formula when it's nice and brown and the color you like. Remember, your stuffing's already been baked off. It's all cooked. You're just warming it up. Okay. There we go. When you're done, make sure you turn off your waffle iron. Okay, here goes some peanut butter. I would say this is adventurous eating, possibly. All right. Remember, don't burn yourself. pretty darn good. My favorite so far, maple syrup. But great way to use up the stuffing, maybe get a little sandwich in one of your kids out the door in the morning. And I thought it was a great idea and I am definitely giving this two thumbs up. All right, thank you. See you soon.